So the big news for today is that Facebook has officially made React Native available to everybody. Before it was only available to people who had attended uh, the React conference. But um, they announced today at Facebook at the F8 conference that everyone has access to it and then uh, made it available on GitHub immediately, which was kind of nice. So they put up a site. Uh, looks like they've done a really good job preparing for the release. Uh, there's this get, getting started and then they go through and talk about uh, native iOS components and asynchronous ex execution, basically the architecture behind it. Uh, it only works on iOS right now, but they will release an Android version soon is what they're saying. Uh, so if you want to start using it, you can go out to uh, github.com slash Facebook slash React Native and clone down this repository and it has some examples and we'll look at one of those examples here in just a minute. They also have this getting started, so it tells you you'll need to have Xcode installed. You also want to use Homebrew. Uh, you'll need Node. Uh, they use Watchman and you can use Flow if you want to use Flow to um, kind of type your JavaScript the same way you could use TypeScript. It looks like they've also got a, uh, a CLI, so if you want to use that to start new projects, that's kind of handy. I wish they had that for normal React. All right, here out on the Facebook website, they've got a blog post. I'll include all these links when I post the video, uh, but this talks about why they did React Native and kind of the history behind it. So with that, we'll go take a look at the code. So the first thing you'll have to do after cloning down the project, you'll do an npm install, which I've already done, and then you just do npm start, and this starts up the um, React Native package packager, I guess is what they call it. Uh, they've got a number of example applications out in the project. Uh, we'll take a look at the movies one. That's the one that they showed at the React JS conference. Looks like they've got a couple of others you could look at as well. So if you pull that open, now you're inside of Xcode. And then all you have to do is hit go. And I hit it twice, which is why it's complaining. Now, if it starts on my bigger monitor, then this thing ends up huge for whatever reason. So we'll scale it down. Oops, not that much. Okay, there we go. So this is simulating an iPhone 6, and uh, it actually works. So I can search for Star Wars, and it pulls up videos and whatnot. From, I think from IMDB is where it's getting its data from. Let's go look at some of this code. So here's the movie's project. Uh, you can see there's the Xcode project. Uh, it looks like a folder inside of Sublime uh, because it actually is a folder if you want to crack it open, but we don't actually need to look at anything inside of there. So I can look at uh, Movie Cell, for example. I think the Movie Cell is one of these guys right here. Uh, it looks very React-like because it is React. Uh, you've got the render method here, but instead of using divs and other HTML um, tags, you use the native, the React native components. So like I've got a view, I've got a touchable highlight, if I want to bring in an image, you can see that all the styling is now done in line uh, because you don't have CSS when you're building native components. So let's try and modify something in here. So you can see that we've got this text style, so maybe if I just put I was thinking that this would live update. Maybe I have to set something else up to make it live update. I don't know, I've only had like 15 minutes to take a look at this, so I don't know what all the details are yet. Let's just stop it, start it back up, and then see if any of our changes took effect. There. Now you can see that it added the word title into the component. 
All right, so it looks like this should make developing native applications a much simpler process. Uh, I do know that they had a live coding connection somehow, um, and I'll figure out how to get that set up. So any changes you make here would just immediately show up over here. Just thinking it might be inside of here, but at any rate, that's React Native.